All right, I'm in my driveway just getting ready to back out, head to work because the rain quit, doing some roofing, it dried up, I'm getting ready to go to work. I literally back out of my garage and my damn service engine light soon kicked on. Well, if you're like me and you're always like tired of trying to schedule an appointment, go across town, go to a dealer or a garage, trust that they're not going to rip you off, or go to AutoZone Advanced Auto and have somebody scan with their tool. That's the second best alternative, but let me show you the best thing to do. No, this is not a sponsored video, but I bought this myself on Amazon. I think I paid $18 or less for it. It's a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. I don't know the year, 96 or newer. They'll have this little adapter down here. Yeah, my truck's got a squeaky uh, idler tensioner for my serpentine, so it's next on the list. Right here is the OBD2 scanner port right here. You just simply click the link below buy this bad boy on Amazon, have it shipped free to your house, then you whip plug it into your dash right here. It's gonna light up and start scanning and doing its thing. And then, from the comfort of your own house, you bring up an app of your choice. In this case, I use this OBD check light. And uh, you're gonna go, it should log or uh, sync automatically, which it looks like it did. Show logged faults. It's requesting the code. It's now Bluetooth reading it off there, and I've got two errors. A P0154 and a P0300, so you can click on that if you got internet, which I'm still in my Wi-Fi here. Uh, O2 sensor circuit, no activity, detected bank 1, or I'm sorry, bank 2, sensor 1, I don't know what that is, you can look it up later. Let's see what the other one was. Random multiple random multiple cylinder misfires detected. I've had this pop up before. I was about an hour away and I was working and the service engine light soon came on so I checked it and it said the same thing. I ended up driving home and it went away a little while later so I don't know if it just had a couple of random, probably time to change the spark plugs and stuff. But uh, again, it's a really simple tool. Go to Amazon, check the link out below, have the confidence to do it, find out what you need, go to your local auto store, Napa, Advanced Auto, Auto Parts, whatever, AutoZone, pick up the parts you need and fix it yourself. You really risk a lot going to some off the wall or even some really big, well-known, it's documented, garages and dealers. They may have a shady mechanic that gets a commission or part, whatever, how he's paid. He's like, oh, service engine lights soon on, all these things wrong. You're trusting them and you're paying to get it fixed. May not be an issue. I saw an undercover documentary just recently on my local channel where they showed that this lady pulled a wire to make something go off in the vehicle, show the air light, took it to the garage. They tried charging her like 700 bucks to connect something, said it was all these crazy things. So, I mean, you gotta, who doesn't have a smartphone these days? Speaking of, you can also, if you want to, use this here. It's got uh, live telemetry, if you want. You can go to add display, dial. I mean, look at all these different displays you can have with real-time telemetry. All kinds of stuff in here you can have just display up to a graph on your vehicle. Accelerator, uh, let's just see here. Engine RPM, medium. So here it is, we're about 500 RPM. There we are, about 500 RPM. And I'm gonna press the accelerator. Try to get it near a thousand. But you can see it's, uh, you can have real live telemetry. It's a, uh, a really cool tool buy yours. I mean, this is a cheap, cheap uh, scanner. Cobra OBD2 scanner. Diagnostic tool. Check it out on Amazon. This uh, looks like it is compatible with Android, PC. I don't know if you have to have a special one for Apple, but <laughs> Apple's overpriced. You're paying for the name. It's a good product, but overpriced. Anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing for all my random how to save a ton of money. All kinds of weird random shit on my channel on the Brian5593. Or possibly even consider checking out my uh, roofing channel for preventative maintenance and how to. 
So anyway, I uh, gotta get started on my day. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, and uh, comment below. Let me know how'd it go for you.